to be a distinguished member of a herd of sheep, you have to be a sheep in first place. Unfortunately, that's the situation in Wikipedia. Welcome to Real Physics. Today I have a special topic, science in Wikipedia. Forget about. Now, uh, I admit I haven't checked all science articles, but I give you a prominent example and it's about theoretical physics, uh, the article about variable speed of light. No, 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 don't worry, I don't pretend you're an expert on that and uh, you don't have to go into the details, but um, you know who Einstein was, right? And uh, in fact, Einstein's most famous theory, general relativity, um, for which he became a celebrity in 1919, has to do with variable speed of light. Why? Because it's uh, founded on something called the equivalence principle. And Einstein um, pondered about this fact that light rays in uh, gravitational field fields must be curved. And the most simple explanation, explanation was variable speed of light. As in classical optics, if there is a difference in the speed of light, your light ray is um, curved automatically. So, and that he did indeed start from this idea of variable speed of light is extensively documented. You have this um, paper here from the just proof assertion and uh, that the speed of light is a function of position. That means variable speed of light. This is the original paper in Annalen der Physik in 1911. The attempt started even earlier in 1907. And, uh, well, I'm just giving, uh, showing you some of the articles. There is overwhelming evidence that Einstein uh, started there. Look at this article, 1912. The constancy of the speed of light can, is, is valid only if the gravitational potential is constant, which is not, so it has to be variable. Even in 1930, he talks about spatial variability of the quantity c of the speed of light. and even later, when uh, he favored a slightly different interpretation, uh, after he became famous in 1920, he still uh, writes about the constancy of the speed of light. It no longer holds. The speed of light is spatially variable. Okay, so uh, if you don't understand anything about physics and Einstein and so on, but you might expect that in an article about the variable speed of light, you read something about Einstein, okay, 1911. No, let's uh, check the article here. And uh, so uh, I look for the Einstein term here. Einstein, Einstein is mentioned, but not how he got there. There's nothing about Einstein 11. So what happened here? So sometimes you can look at the history and yeah, yeah it's 20, 20,000 uh, bytes and now t yeah, it was more, okay? So almost half of the article disappeared and if you look at that in March 21, okay, here we are. Einstein's proposal of 1911, uh, the original German, which is translated, a reference to the original article, uh, this one in 1911. Let's see if it's correct. Yeah, it pops up. Wonderful. And the other article, also the link to the original paper. You can verify it, okay, that this is variable speed of light and Einstein started there. So now, but now let's see what, what happened to, uh, to these Wikipedia entries and, and what, uh, who did that. And so we look back and indeed in March 29 um, someone cancelled uh, almost 4,000 characters or oh, bytes sorry uh, why I mean after that uh, if you look um, the the index has changed and there was no Einstein 1911 theory anymore it is mentioned in the text but then uh, two hours later yeah we read this one guy commenting, um, the reference to variable speed of light is also probably nonsense, he thinks. And uh, then he says, um, there is no relation to uh, variable speed of light in the sense of this article. Well, 
I guess the problem is you cannot make sense of the article right here. And uh, I particularly love this, uh, the, the guy who changed it. I do not understand the German, but it seems. Okay, that naturally begs the question, if you don't understand, why don't you just shut up? Okay. Uh, well, is, there, is this a single pothead dabbling into theoretical physics? But look at this, uh, three hours later another guy comes along, so now, now the uh, reference disappeared, but now three, a um, couple of hours later another guy comes along and says, okay, um, uh, uh, again, um, I added provided standard textbook material to pr uh, replace what looks like, it looks like, and then he says, Geschwindigkeit can only be translated as speed and not velocity. Yes, but my advice is um, if you are unable or unwilling to learn a foreign language, you, you better don't mess with the history of theoretical physics, okay? So, but as a matter of fact, after that, even the reference disappeared. So, if the article is completely shred to pieces and you don't find the Einstein's very first idea of general relativity. It's n not there anymore. So, um, well, as I said, uh, there are different people, and but I think there is a, a m more general and more serious problem behind. Um, in fact, variable speed of light is, uh, has somehow the smell of an alternative theory, okay? And there are people out there who, th who think uh, we must defend correct science, okay? Um, misleading things should not be, be discussed here, okay? If we help cleaning up uh, Wikipedia, we belong to the club of scientists. Indeed, I think uh, Wikipedia has been hijacked by a gang of these medium IQ activists who um, push aside everything which is not 100% mainstream, okay? Which is of course the exact opposite of science, or with Einstein's word, to be a distinguished member of a herd of sheep, you have to be a sheep in first place. Unfortunately, that's the situation in Wikipedia and I do not, I mean, if this happens in the so-called objective realm of science, I do not dare to think what happens in other fields or even politics. So my advice is Wikipedia, don't go there. Stay with uh, real science and if you're interest in, interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.